Hello and welcome to the President's Desk. It's April 2008 and I wanted to make a message today to let you know that the American Heart Association has released the hands-only CPR. And I'm not going to spend any time talking about it here. There's a 10-minute video on our home page. Go to Shocking News, click on hands-only CPR and you'll get some information on the rationale for the new changes as well as some uh, techniques and protocols for the instructors to roll that information out into their uh, BLS courses. So take a look at that. And then I just, I have to tell you, I am so excited to be here today. I'm sitting in our new studio, which is right next door to this, the center's uh, conference room and offices. And we have assembled all of the cameras, podcasting equipment. We have musical instruments in here. You can see the acoustics. We have customized computers, and we're making uh, videos and podcasts and customized uh, PowerPoints and things that you're going to see interjected into our classes uh, that you'll be able to see on our website, and uh, the sky's the limit in this place. And if you're interested in, in media for your department or hospital, or if you're a manufacturer with a product and want to get the word out in an educational manner, uh, come talk to us. We can, we can put those things together for you in this place. And if you're on site, I would love to give you a tour. Now, if you're taking a look at this video, you also see the text that I uh, wrote a couple months ago. And one of the things I mentioned in the text is that leaders are readers. And I've, I've really renewed my, um, my passion for, for learning. You know, I think sometimes we can get comfortable and we, we know it okay and we can do it okay and we teach it well. But, you know, um, science is just advancing so quickly in the technology and we need to stay current, especially as educators. So I've uh, really renewed my uh, hitting the books in the evenings and um, in keeping with that, we have joined the Emergency Nurses Association and the Air and Surface Transport Nurse Association. I'm going to be going to the National Teaching Institute in Chicago next month, all with the goal of bringing that information back and putting it into the curriculum in our courses. Uh, we all hear those CBR classes that are just pumping below and the ACLS classes that are just shock and epi and that there's just so much more and uh, I, I want to bring that to the to the classes so I want to encourage you to do the same it's it's um, challenging to uh, to get back in the book sometimes but please do that the other thing if you look at our website I've picked a top 20 uh, textbooks are all current textbooks and they're on everything from um, you know animal resuscitation to neonatal to I mean just take a look at it there's some really neat interesting textbooks on there that you may want to take a look at uh, one of the other things I want to mention is that we're adding some new programs to um, to our calendar of courses. One of them is neonatal resuscitation program, and uh, we have a, a couple of physicians and some really strong, um, experienced nurse educators who are doing those courses, both the providers and the recertification. And then the other thing is flight physiology, and that is certainly my passion, having been on the helicopters and the planes, transporting and picking up emergency patients for years. And it's a curriculum that you don't find very often and that I think is, one, just a really interesting day of continuing education. And two, if it's something that you're interested in doing in your career, becoming a flight nurse or flight medic or being on a uh, transport team, then come take this class and you'll get a really strong overview on patient packaging and the radios and the physiology of altitude and working autonomously in advanced practice and, and all of those. It's, it's a really good class. So take a look at our, our calendar on that. So anyways, just wanted to touch base with you uh, this month. Call us anytime if we can assist you anyway and uh, take care.